Hi, I'm Michael with Houston Grass, and uh, today we're standing in a, a friend of mine's front yard here. Uh, we replaced his, we're, we're early August right now, and we replaced this grass about six weeks ago. Uh, we came in with a sod cutter, cut the grass out, and, uh, and, and replaced it with Raleigh St. Augustine. Uh, I wanted to come uh, look, look at this house because this is a, a perfect example of what, uh, <laughs> of what sod webworms, when, when left untreated can can do to a front yard uh, in, a, in a minute we'll, we'll we'll show kind of some of the damage here and so, some of this grass has started to come back a little bit uh, but you can really see uh, the 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 first sign that you've got sod webworms is that you start to see moths flying around. If you walk through the grass and you see a lot of little brown, they're, they're tropical sod webworms and they're, they're a light brown moth that flies up out of the grass, usually by the dozens when you walk through your grass any time of day, but they'll actually be active in the uh, early morning and late evening hours and they, they're basically fluttering around over the top of the grass and they... Uh, as, as they do that, they drop little eggs, and those eggs uh, hatch in about seven to ten days and become little bitty green worms and uh, that, that kind of hide in the thatch layers during the day, come out at night and feed. And you'll, you'll start to see, basically you'll come out in the morning and you'll see about a, maybe a softball size area. They, they come up during the night, they, they eat an, a, a small area and take the stuff back down in their little web tunnels uh, during the day. And, any time of day, especially at night, uh, I've found that if you go out with a flashlight, you can kind of part the grass and look down and you'll see the spider webs and uh, uh, you, you, they, they look like spider webs that, that, that they've woven and you'll also see the the I think during the night that they kind of they hang out in their excrement uh, it's little green splotches of stuff down near the base of the grass and uh, so that that's how you know you've got sod webworms but uh, in, in this case here what what we were, are recommending to people is that the farm treats for these things uh, but they're they're not a problem at our farm generally uh, but we do what, what happens is these these things these these malls and whatnot are in your flower beds and are hanging out in, in, in yards around and they're particularly these are these are they're particularly attracted to new tender healthy dark green grass guess what that's exactly what Houston grass delivers we come and we put that down and in your yard and these things will move in like it's a new fresh salad bar and they can move in overnight and if, if, they, if they're really bad they can uh, wipe out a whole yard in two or three days and uh, it happens, and, and in this case, you'll you'll be able to see that the they they actually they prefer the new young tender grass, and in, in in this case too, you'll see these these things came in, ate all the new young tender grass, and then left. They left. We only pre replaced parts of this yard, and you can see the parts that we did not replace are are fine. They they moved on to to something else, and uh, so you can see how that gives us a bad rap. Sometimes people talk bad. They they accuse the farm of bringing in sod webworms and whatnot when these little moths are around and and as, as a matter of fact sod webworms are the worst they've been these last two summers they're the worst they've been in 30 years because we haven't had much of a winter uh, to kill them they they lay over in the in the thatch layers in the in the winter and if we don't have much of a severe winter at all which has been the case the last two summers uh, they 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 come with a vengeance and so they've been really bad these last two summers but we are recommending to people that they treat with uh, a product, I'll, 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 I will put a picture up here, uh, either a, a, a liquid fungicide, we carry one called Cyanara, it's kind of a cute name, uh, it attaches to the end of your hose and you treat with that. And you've got to treat about uh, three times in two to three weeks to break the cycle because the chemical will kill uh, the worms and they will kill the moths, but it will not kill the eggs. So if there's eggs, depending on when, when you apply the chemical uh, in the life cycle, uh, th those eggs may hatch two or three days later that you didn't get any spray on, uh, or, or there's granular too. We, we carry bug out max with bifen that you put out as a granular and water it in. Same same effectiveness but uh, just uh, a granular uh, but in, in either case you have to put these chemicals out uh, three times in two to three weeks to, to break that life cycle if you if you see those moths uh, fluttering around or if you walk across your yard and see them uh, it's something you should really pay attention to 
because they'll eat you out of house and home in a real big hurry and uh, uh, and you can you end up starting from scratch with with new grass especially especially our grass that's super healthy and they're really attracted to uh, and established lawns as well we've seen a lot of them like I said these last couple of summers and it's it's something to really pay attention to so if you get new grass uh, I, we're suggesting that everybody uh, treat preemptively preventatively I guess for uh, for, for the sod webworms because they have have been so bad these last couple of summers.